Hello everyone, welcome back. So in previous lecture, we have disabled CSR of future to our web application. So if you don't disable this, so we are unable to perform database operations, right? We are unable to insert the data because we are not sending CSR of token along with our request. So let me comment it out this code. So who are all watching newly, you can subscribe Java Cafeteria YouTube channel and you can learn Spring Boot from scratch. Okay, so subscribe and learn easily. So in this lecture, I am going to show you how to implement CSR of token in our JSP and uh, without disabling CSR of future, how we can perform database operation in our web application. So now let me go to the browser and we are able to create the user right. So let me create one more user. Let me log in. What is the credentials which we have? So we can check. So we are having static credentials as of now. So let me try Rohit and Rohit at 8123. So if you observe here, we, we are disabled the CSRF token. So now if you disable, then only you can create the record. So I will log in as a Rohit and Rohit at 123. Sign in. Click on sign in button. And user registration page is opened successfully. Now I will create uh, Shikhar Dhawan. Dhawan Shikhar at gmail.com and password test at 123. Click on submit button. See, we are able to successfully create the user, right? So now I go to the Eclipse and now here. Since we are disabled CSR of token, we are able to perform database operations. Now I will comment this code. This statement I will comment it out. CSRF I am enabling now. What is the meaning of uh, commenting this line? So by default, Spring Security will enable CSRF to our web application. So CSRF is nothing but so any hackers from your web application they will uh, use your uh, web applications cookies and session details and and hacker can easily steal your data so that is nothing but CSRF attack so from to protect from hackers so your web application should be fully protected right so we have to protect our web application from hackers so for that spring security by default it is providing csrf future so it is generating csrf token by default and the token will be submitted for each and every request so we need to handle manually so whatever new jsp which we are creating in our js in our web application so each and every jsp which we are going to perform uh, any data manipulation operations then we must send csrf token along with the request except get request get request you no need to uh, pass csrf token only uh, other than get request so uh, uh, put request, post request, delete request, patch. So those uh, HTTP request methods you must pass CSRF token. Otherwise, Spring Security will throw 403 error code. So now uh, I have enabled CSRF token now. So earlier we have disabled. So since we are disabled, we are able to insert the data. So now I am enabling it. Enabling nothing but I have commented out this one. And by default, CSRF will be enabled to our web application. The moment you add Spring Security dependency in our form.xml. So now, let me go to the browser and let me refresh the URL. Now, let me, I am trying to uh, create the user. Now, CSR token is uh, enabled our web application. So let me create uh, some test data test data test at 
test at the rate gmail dot com and test at one two three is the password and click on submit button. See, we are getting four zero three forbidden. So uh, the moment CSRF token is enabled to our web application, if you are trying to perform any data manipulation operations, nothing but any insert or update operations, you uh, we cannot perform database operations without sending CSRF token. So let me uh, show you how to implement CSRF token to our web application. So before that so many people are having doubt sir, where we can see CSRF token is generated by Spring Security. So let me log out the application. So this logout also provided by Spring Security by default. So I want to log out now. So now if we have opened the login page, right? So now if you open the developer console function F12. So or directly you can press F12 depends on your laptop model. So function F12. So now go to your uh, uh, element section so there is a element section in developer console there is a element section if you open your form tag of login page see you can see there is a csrf token hidden field is available in our login.jsp so this login.jsp is provided by spring security by default we haven't created any login.jsp so far so this jsp is provided by spring security the moment you enable to your web application so along with that jsp you can see there is a csrf token also generated by spring security so spring security uh, before loading this jsp spring security will generate spring security how it will generate internally there is a csrf filter there is a CSRF filter available in Spring Security. That filter will generate the CSRF token, and then this token will be um, added to your uh, added to login.jsp by default. So the moment you click on sign in button, so along with the request, the CSRF token also will be go to your server. So then only you can able to log in successfully. So testing purpose, what I will do, I will delete this token from here. Okay, click enter. So there is no token now, right? So this is by default created by Spring Security. That token I have removed. Now what I will do, I am trying to log in now. What will happen, we'll see. I will log in by using Sachin Tendulkar. Sachin, Sachin at 123. Now click on sign in button. See, we are unable to log in. So it is not showing error, but we are unable to log in. So if you uh, remove this token, we are unable to log in. So now I hope you guys are understood. Without this token, we cannot send the request to the server since login is a post request, right? You can see what is the method. So post request. So login is a post request. So as I told you earlier, any post request, put request, delete request and uh, uh, patch request. So any data manipulation operations which we are performing, we must send the CSRF token. So this login page is provided by Spring Security by default. So uh, I uh, manually, I remove this token and then I am trying to log in. So I am unable to log in. This Sachin. Sachin at 123. I am unable to log in. See, nothing is happening. So, again, Spring Security generated new token. You can see there is another token generated by Spring Security. Let me copy this and go to uh, Notepad, paste it here. Now, you can see this is the token, this is the our current CSR, CSRF token, right? So, now go to browser again. I will remove this. So let's let's say let's think uh, uh, let's uh, remove this token click enter now I'm trying to click on sign in button without the token so now click on enter search in valid credential search in at 123 click on sign in button I am unable to log in see it is still 
uh, prompting us to login page it is not showing error page but it is it is prompting us to login page it is not allow even if you enter log uh, in uh, proper credentials without csrf token since it is a post request so spring security is not allowing to login right so i hope you guys are understood so csrf token is needed for post request or any data manipulation operations so now let me log in along with csrf token now search in now we can able to log in successfully search in at one two three sign in see we are able to successfully log in now now go to your eclipse since i have commented out csrf token so uh, have i uh, have uh, removed uh, csr of token disable right earlier we have disabled it now uh, now we have enabled it so the moment you comment this code that means we are enabled spring security by default in spring sec uh, spring security so now go to your browser this user registration page is created by us right so uh, if you go to the element section it doesn't have any csr of token go to your form tag see uh user registration page of form tag inside that if you go anywhere we don't have csrf let me go to open your page uh, user registration dot jsp user registration form dot jsp control f i am trying to search csrf i am trying to find csrf in our jsp see nothing not found so since there is no token available in our jsp now i am trying to submit the request since uh, user registration uh, form is a post request right user registration form is a post request so we we, we must submit the csrf uh, field otherwise spring security will not allow us to insert the data so now let me try to insert the data without csrf token now just with bumra spread bumra and bumra at gmail.com and uh, test at one two three now click on submit button see we are able to get the four zero three since our registration page is not having csrf token spring security is not allowing us to uh, insert the data so now how we can pass csrf token to our user registration page very simple go to login page again so what i will do log out this logout page is provided by spring security so now in login page we uh, in element section go to inspect that login page so go to new element and insert the form tag so there is csrf right so just copy this field so right click and uh, edit html edit inner html right click edit as html and copy this uh, csrf token oh sorry this is, it is not enabled properly edit html so now copy this field control c and go to the your web page and inside the form element inside the form tag you must add csrf token hidden field anywhere you can add so i am adding inside the uh, after table so here i am inside the form tag anywhere you can add so now i have added csrf hidden field so now what i will do so this is a hard coded value right so we should not uh, hard code the csrf token why because for each and every request spring security will generate new csrf token so remove this now question how we can pass dynamically csrf token which is provided by spring security very simple with the help of expression so now here we can pass underscore this is copy the csrf property and this property is having there is a parameter called token the csrf uh, property is having token parameter so now whatever spring security is generated by csrf token it will be replaced here so now our jsp is having csrf token enabled now now we can successfully submit the request along with csrf 
field so it was a hidden field it will not show in web browser guys okay it should be hidden field that's the reason type hidden so it will not show to your browser so it will be internally uh, spring security will uh, capture this property okay so now uh, let me go to the browser and try to insert the data now let me refresh the url again click enter i don't want let me close the power console so now let me enter sachin and sachin at 123 password so let me log in and i am able to open the registration page right so now let me open the developer console you can check whether our page is having a CSRF or not. We already added, right? So you can see just inspector. So you can see there is a CSRF token is added. You can see here. So Spring Security, the before loading this page, Spring Security will generate the token with the help of a CSRF filter. And uh, the, that will be added to our user registration page. So this is the token. Without this token, if you try to insert the data, you cannot insert. So now we have a CSRF token is ready now. Now close the developer console. So now we can successfully insert the data. Let me insert uh, Ashwin, Ravi Chandran Ashwin. Ravi Chandran Ashwin and uh, Ashwin at uh, gmail.com and password will be tested 123 and click on submit button now you can see we are able to successfully register the user so now go to the uh, database you can just refresh the db so you can see shikar is registered ashwin is also registered successfully so now this is how we can enable csrf token property in our jsp so not only user registration form if your application is having 100 jsps so in uh, what are all the jsps are performing data manipulation operations nothing but insert or update or delete or patch so all the data manipulation operations related jsps that form should have csrf hidden field otherwise you cannot perform data manipulation operations or data insertions you cannot perform without csrf token as this is very easy guys you must understand some people blindly will add don't add blindly you you must understand the concept okay so now go to the browser some other place also we need to add where function ftl there is a ajax call right there is a ajax call go to the console clear the console so now you can see so we have a ajax call right on uh, after entering email there is a ajax call internally going to our web application so to check whether this email id exists or not to check whether uh, uh, whatever email id which you have entered in text field internally ajax call is going to our web application and and it is checking whether user is present in database or not so let me check whether this uh, ajax call is happening or not see the moment i come out from this text field uh, see the moment i come out from text field internally there is an ajax call so post request 403 forbidden even this you can validate in jquery guys okay so without entering text text we should not uh, allow to uh, send ajax call so no, later we will validate that one so if i enter any test at gmail.com see come out from that see immediately the moment i come out from this text field immediately there is a uh, error a forbidden error so since find by email id is a post request you can see it is a post request you can clearly see here so since find by email id is a post request as i told if it is a post request we have to send csrf token along with the find by email request that is the reason we are getting 403 since there is no csrf token submitted by find by email id api so there is no csrf token that's the reason spring security is not allowing to uh, send request to our web application now we have to send this token to along with find by email request 
how we can send so where is where we have written our ajax call there is a user dot js right so in our jsp we have included user dot js right so in user dot js so we have written ajax call open this control shift r and go to user dot js and open it so here we are doing after uh, come out from the email text field we have written we have we are doing ajax call to check whether email exist or not so what is the api name find by email so since it is a post request so along the, uh, along with this uh, find by email currently we are sending only email value right so along with this data we have to pass csrf token as well so from where we can get this csrf token since we have included user.js in user registration form.jsp so in jsp we have already hidden field right so we have to get this value See, underscore csrf value since it is a name attribute go to your user.js so in jquery how we can get the value by using id so by you uh, this is how we can get the uh, value in jquery by using id attribute so earlier in user registration dot jsp there is a email id right so with the help of email id attribute we are fetching the value so now along with this value we have to pass srf token as well so key value pair right so now here uh, key should be your csrf what is the value uh, what is the key name underscore csrf key should be your csrf underscore csrf so how we can get the value uh, so since it is a in user registration form dot jsp we haven't declared any id right it has only name attribute so by using name attribute also we can get the value from the jsp how we can get so testing purpose what i will do uh, let me write uh, fetch the value by using name attribute csrf name attribute so dollar what you have to do within the bracket and within the string so you have to give input and within the bracket you have to give name is equal since it is a name attribute name is equal to underscore csrf sorry underscore csrf that's it so now dot there is a function called value so you can debug also whether we are able to get this value or not how we can debug control so key i have comma separated guys so as many number of parameters we can send to server with the help of comma separated csr earlier to get the email id email is the key and uh, dollar of email dot value is the value to fetch the value so similarly to send the csr of token to our server so uh, our spring security filter so here csrf is the underscore csrf is the key from our jsp so whatever name which we have defined here underscore csrf so now after that how we can fetch the value of csrf by using jquery this is how so testing purpose we can debug we can put breakpoint we can debug also instead of that i will show you an easy way alert and i just want to print this value whether we are able to fetch the csrf token or not from our jsp so let me go to the browser and refresh and now i will try try to try uh, we wrote at one two we wrote at gmail.com now once we come out from the text field see there is alert came since i have added as a alert see we are able to fetch the value so that means we are successfully able to fetch the csrf token which is available in our user registration dot jsp so now click uh, ok see request went to the server there is no exception shown here earlier without sending csrf token we are able to get the exception 403 forbidden now we are not getting why because along with the ajax call we are sending csrf token as well so now i will remove this alert so by using id also we can get so let me show you that also let me provide id is equal to and id i will give csrf so i have declared id attribute also csrf so how we can get this value copy and earlier i am get i am fetching the value by using 
name attribute now we can fetch the value by using id as well how we can fetch so see how we are fetching id attribute uh, for email this is how so same way we can do here also remove dollar of hash so dollar of hash sorry this is incorrect so now dollar already have given right dollar i already given so let me try now dollar of inside you have to give hash slash and uh, uh, csrf csrf and now there is a value method in J jquery so now we can fetch the value of by using id attribute also so in jsp we have given id attribute so now this this name can be any guys this name you can you can you can put any okay so now go to csrf so i want to show you this value also in alert whether we are able to get or not let instead of name uh, let me comment it out so let me display alert of dollar of csr dot value let me show you whether we are able to fetch this value or not control s so close the bracket is it showing error so now i just saved the application let me refresh the browser and now enter uh, uh, virat at gmail.com since virat is available in database so come out from the text we'll see we see still we are able to get the csrf token so we are able to display user already exist in database so now i am going to uh, comment it out this alert not, not at all needed to make you understand i just added alert right so this is how we can add csrf token along with the post request so any jsp which in your uh, web application so you must add uh, in, in, whenever you are accept a get request so or remaining all the http request you have to pass csrf token hidden field otherwise spring security will not allow you to insert the data very simple guys so so i will tell you one more thing so why spring security is generating csrf token and uh, uh, for each and every request new token will be generated so hackers cannot uh, track that uh, generated token so that's the reason spring security will provide more protection from hackers so let me show you for each and every request new token will be generated see virat kohli right so let me go to the elements and go to the form remove let me refresh because i already removed the alert right let me refresh the browser so now uh, open the form tag from the developer console see csr of token copy this value and again i will show you uh, every time new token will be generated guys so remove this or let me open new one paste it here so this is the current token which we have in our jsp right so now go to the browser and type uh, any test data some test test data and test at uh, gmail.com see oh this is already available in database right see see the moment request went to the server you can see there is another token is generated so let me copy this token also so now zl lly so sorry request went right let me submit the request so now if i try try to send again test instead of test now i will give uh, uh, xyz at gmail.com we can send so one the moment you submit the request new token will be generated so let me test it one two three and submit see the moment you submitted user created successfully and there is another token is generated for each and every uh, database operation which you are performing here since it is a database insertion you can see there is a new token generated copy this token 
and paste it here so earlier what is the token is available z l a l l y now it is a mff so if you try to insert one more record let me insert another record uh, this time i will insert uh, uh, ravi shastri ravi shastri okay uh, now ravi at gmail.com and enter ravi at ravi at 1 2 3 so now click on submit button so submitted so user created successfully now another token is generated see control c again let me copy paste it here Sorry. so earlier so this is the token is generated earlier this is the token right so now it is generated another token so each and every time csrf so spring security will generate new token so that uh, it is very difficult to get this token uh, hackers for hackers it is very difficult to get this token because for each and every click uh, submit request so uh, spring security is generating new token this is how spring security will protect from the hackers so this is not uh, highly secured guys still hackers can hack this uh, uh, token uh, there is a a few more advanced concepts are there jwt and oauth2 so advanced concept so by using jwt and uh, oauth2 also we can generate the token as well so i will explain you those concepts later so this is uh, how we can implement csr of token in our web application so you must uh, understand the concept guys who are all watching newly you can subscribe java cafeteria youtube channel and you can watch all the videos from scratch okay thank you so much guys i will catch you in next lecture